Welcome to Daily Armor. Our verse today will be Romans chapter number 8, and we'll be looking at verses 30 and verse 31. Romans chapter 8, verse 30 and verse 31. And it says, Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? We're, we have the victory. We're conquerors through Christ because of Christ, because of what he did for us. And man, when we think about the obstacles that are out there and we think about um, the, the things that are, that are going to cross our paths and the things that are going to be a conflict and they're going to be a problem, and we look at, we line those things up to the Lord. And that's where we say, if God be for us, who can be against us? Who is stronger than the Lord? What is stronger than the Lord? What, um, what is God limited by? Nothing, nothing but our unbelief. And man, does that give us um, victory and gives us the ability to conquer things because of what he has done for us, because how much he loves us, how much he cherishes us, what he, he didn't, um, he, he didn't limit what he would do in our lives. Um, but he showed us through the giving of his son, what, how much that he cherishes us and how much that he wants to do through us, uh, because he didn't, um, he didn't hold back. He, he give it all. He give his son, he give it all. And when we do something, we, it seems like in my life, I always hold back a little bit. I always have, I'm always guarded and the Lord is helping me and showing me that I need to just let it all loose and take, take my guard down because he's, he's got me. He's in control. I'm to wear my armor. I'm to be a good soldier. I'm to push forth. Um, but I don't have to put up guards against him. I let it all down, let it all down because he already knows. And I don't want to hold anything back. I don't want to put limits on an unlimited God. And when I have to, when I look at that, I have to address how he sees me. And that helps me give me proper perspective. I can have a, a perspective but it might not be the correct one. And I want to have the proper perspective. And so looking at this Romans chapter number eight and verse number 30, and it's very overwhelming. Um, moreover, whom he did predestinate, he already had decided who I was going to be, what he was going to choose for me, what he was going to do with me. He had already decided it. And then one day he called me. He called me by name that Monday night that he let me know that I belong to him, that I just ex I accepted his free gift and then I became his. And he had a plan. He had already decided he had a plan for me. He called me on that Monday night and he is continuing to grow me and to challenge me and to change me. And man, it's been a wonderful journey, one that I could never have come up with on my own. I, I could never have foreseen any of this stuff, but the Lord did, and he, he knows what he's doing, and he had already decided. And then he calls, and he puts me to work, and he puts you to work, and he gives us a task, and it's going to be a task that you are not able to do. It's going to be a task that you are thinking, Lord, there is somebody better at this than I am. There's somebody that's more qualified. There's somebody that's better um, you know, at it than I am, Lord, there's somebody who is, looks better, sounds better, has better education, has better credentials. We, all these excuses like Moses gave the Lord, but God had already decided. And all we have to do is follow through. He's got it. He's got it took care of. It doesn't mean that things are not going to be hard and there's going to be a struggle because there's an enemy and they're, they're throwing darts and they're making accusations and, and we're hard on ourselves and we have all these dilemmas. But if God be for us, who can be against us? It means we're already conquerors. We're already, we're already found victors and the victory is ours. And he is continuing to work in our lives. And it says, if we continue on, it says, 
Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified. Justified. Just, if I had, just as if I had never sinned. That's how he sees me. I don't see myself that way. But the proper perspective is to see me the way he sees me. The proper perspective for you to see yourself is the way the Lord sees you. And if you're saved, he sees you through the righteousness of Christ. If you are to be, to be justified is to be righteous, is to be just, is to be innocent. I, that's how he views me. That's how we have a relationship. That's how that I know I'm going to heaven is because the blood has been applied because the Lord looks at me and sees the righteousness of Christ that has been imputed to me and has been imputed to you. And so I'm not walking around in condemnation. I have been justified just as if I had never sinned. And that overwhelms me. And that really, really, really overwhelms me. That he is that good to me and that he could possibly see me that way overwhelms me. But that's what Christ did. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ did for us. And let's read on. And it says, Them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. To glorify, to magnify, to impart glory, to render it excellent. He sees me as excellent. And I don't see myself. When I look in the mirror, I see flaws. I see problems. I see obstacles. But that's not what he sees. He's unlimited. And that's what Christ has done in my life and what he's done in your life. And man, we have victory because of that. We have victory. Who can be against us? Who? I mean, I can't even be against myself because he reminds me in his word that how he sees me. He reminds me of how much he loves me and that he cherishes me and that he has already decided how he was going to use me and that maybe I don't see how I could be used in that way. Maybe I don't see the value in it, but he does. And if he sees the value in it, then I need to value that. I need to not think that somebody is better qualified when if the Lord's chose me to do something, then that's what I need to do because I am an important part of his work and you are an important part in his work, whatever he has already decided for you to do. We are part of his family. He's decided what part we are to play in, as a member of his family, as the body of Christ. We make up the body of Christ. And it doesn't matter if it's, something big or something small, it's important. And if it's something bigger than what you think you're able to do, that's a good place to be because we're not able to do things without Christ. It's because of him that we can do them. What shall we then say? What shall we then say? What, what, what excuse are we going to give? Are we going to let somebody hold us back? Or are we going to hold ourselves back? That's where my problem is so many times. I hold myself back. Because sometimes all I see is, uh, is, is flaws and imperfections. But when I think about how what he sees and how he sees me, man, that, that, that gives me victory. And that makes me be able to conquer through those things. And keep working at it and keep moving forward and, and just keep, I mean, I practice and practice and practice and practice on some things the Lord is leading me to do. And I have no idea what he's going to do with it. But I'm not going to put limits on it because if he's for me and he is, he said he was, then who can be against me? I hope that helps you because it certainly has helped me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.